Gala, everyone. Hello, hello. Uh, here's the thing, right? Um, so a couple of years ago, I got engaged to a man. That's right. Sorry, ladies. Wrong tree. Stop barking. Um, <laughs> and I've never been. I've never been like a political person at all. And then I got engaged to a man, and then out of nowhere, I'm like an arm at a douchey cafe. I'm activated. Like I, I'm. <laughs> creep of that one. I've never, um, you know, obviously the plebiscite happened, the, the gay marriage thing happened, and now we can do that. It's very exciting. It was quite scary for queer people. It was a very scary thing, the plebiscite, because we didn't know what was going to happen. Because I'll be honest, I love this country. I love this country with all my heart, but I love this country in the same way that I love the elderly members of my family. Like, you know, they mean well. You know they're harbouring some dark 1950s bullshit. Do you know what I mean? Like... <laughs> You can really only talk to my great aunt June for five minutes before she starts talking about them. And um, <laughs> to be honest, we just don't know who they are. But <laughs> I don't think she does anymore. Someone, um, someone said to me recently uh, that to be a stand-up comedian, you have to be quite brave. I don't think that's true. I'm not a brave person. I'm not brave or strong in any way whatsoever. If this was a sinking ship, I would go full Billy Zane in a heartbeat. Like, out of my way, Rose. Get off my door, you bitch. Like, I'm not... <laughs> I'm not good at emergencies. I'm not good at all. Like, like, I'm, I'm, like my fiance fainted last year, and I was just like, oh well, lest we forget. Like, like I'm just. <laughs> you live a good life. Sorry about everything. I have not been keeping track of the finances. Uh, <laughs> do we own a dog or just a very hairy baby? Like, I, I'm not. Um, <laughs> just don't trust me in emergencies. I think I treat emergencies the same way that I treat sex. Like me first, with no interest in women or children. But I. <laughs> It's not a great joke, but when I wrote it, I was like, job done, have a nap, down she goes, treat yourself. <laughs> Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's low self-esteem. But when I am... Um... <laughs> I'm just not a brave person at all. I'm not, I'm not a brave person at all. I think it's, especially with sex things. Ugh, sex, who can be bothered with sex? I can't be bothered with sex. Who wants to do any of that kind of stuff? I always think with sex, like, um, cause I, I uh, come with me on this journey. I, when I was 15, um, a friend of mine uh, found her parents double in a dildo. Correct response. It's the most full-on thing I've ever heard in my entire life. <laughs> that happened 13 years ago, and I reckon I think about that... Like, I'm never not thinking about that. Do you know what I mean? Like... <laughs> like, it's, it's never not in there cocked and ready to go. I think about it a lot in waiting rooms. I'll just be like, ah, oh, fuck! Like, that's so full-on. That's so full-on. I think about it a lot, all the time, all the time, all the time. And it's scolded me in a certain way. The way that I feel about sex, I'm not good, I'm not bad, like I'm fine. Like, I have sex as if I'm playing Mortal Kombat. I just pick a move and stick to it till someone wins. Do you know what I mean? Just like... <laughs> like, finish him, finish him! Like, like, um... <laughs> Especially hand jobs. I don't want to, I don't want to break your hearts this late in the piece, guys, but I give a nasty hand job. <laughs> I give a hand job as if the dick has important information. Like, where's the map? But when I... I'm going to leave it there. Enjoy the rest of your lives. Good night. Thanks. Bye.